Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Rocky Mavia, the Blue Chipper. So he's got a rework, and uh, it's quite the buff. He is very similar to Luke Harper now. So let's take a look at uh, the rock and how we're gonna run him. Actually, why don't we look at uh, why don't we look at the card itself? He's a new gen striker, and he's got some links. He's got the Anoa'i and Ma'avia legacy. I'm sure I said that wrong. Gems do 25% more damage. The Nation of Domination, gems do 15% more damage. And New Gen, gems do 10% more damage. He is a New Gen Striker, and he's the best New Gen Striker. So that's nice to have. And he's also the Immobile Gem Damage Trainer. At 5k, they do 35% more damage. Uh... This could use a, a little bit of a buff for a 9k ability pretty soon. Hopefully we'll get that soon and we'll see what else comes with it. <clears throat> so, um, like I said, he's very much like uh, Harper. Uh, full disclosure, guys, I do not have any of the normal coaches that you would use that buff multiplies. So no Zombie Taker, no new uh, Rock, the Electrifying Man. Don't have either of them. I also don't have Zombie Seth for the destroy on the green. I do have Powerhouse Brawn, who you could use, and I do have Sankara, who you could use. And I know that's pretty common. I, myself, don't particularly like running it that way, and hopefully I get a good example to show you guys why. Anyway, we'll get into that during the match. Uh, I have two movesets for you guys. He's very straightforward, like I said, very similar to Harper. So two movesets. Uh, the first one is going to be the Shoulder Breaker. Uh, finisher, 10 MP black, deal 33k damage, and choose two columns to destroy and pin the opponent. The Spike Pile Driver, 2 MP green, deal 6k damage, and destroy one random black gem. And the Leaping Clothesline, deal 5k damage, and make three random gems into Multiply Gems of Strength 2. For the Entourage, I'm going to run with Matt Hardy for Multiply Gems of 4. Demon Balor to get an extra Multiply Gem, and so each Multiply Gem does 38% more damage. Uh, Lacey, so green and purple gems do 20% more damage. And Texina, so greens do another 15% more damage. That's going to make his green gems over 6,500. Not too bad. Um, so they'll do a lot on the Multiplies. And it also buffs the purple pretty nicely, too. Like I said, you could use Sinkara. My Sinkara is not 5k yet, so instead of generating 4, I generate 3. So, Balor seemed to make a lot of sense, and in testing, felt better to me. Hopefully, that translates in this video. I, for sure, would use Rocky with Double Fury. And I like the two words for you, or the Blue Bomber, in conjunction with that finisher. Plus, you're doing a lot of moves. Those would help this out a lot. So, uh, ideally, uh, getting a green match or a black match is great. A green match is going to let you throw the random multiply gems out twice every turn, which adds up in a hurry. The downside to using someone like Powerhouse Brawn is you can very quickly run out of black gems. Uh, the upside is you fill your finisher a lot sooner. So you can see we throw them out, we break them. Uh, the one, then we can throw them out again. And we do have a green match, so we'll be able to do that again next turn. And we start to get these big uh, multiply gems out with the way this build works. 54k on a black, 36k on a green, 39k on a yellow, 33k on a purple. They get pretty big. So it's a little bit slower than the probably the Sin Cara, um, Powerhouse Brawn, or S Zombie Seth method. Uh, but it is going to hit very hard when we get to that finisher. Especially considering how many um, Multiply Gems we're going to have on the board. This is going to be nice. It's going to help fill that finisher a little sooner and give us some good damage on that one row break. 145k there. So our finisher is loaded. 
Uh, as long as we have at least two blacks to break, which we more than have, we uh, can reload it each time. So all moves are going to be ready again next turn, and this is going to hit pretty big because uh, we have three black multiplies. And from here on out, it's a party with this move set. So yeah, there you can see 410k on that finisher. Um, and while maybe it's a little bit slower, it's definitely a lot bigger um, using Sinkara and Matt. So that's why I like it, that build set that way. And that wasn't even that great a board or anything, so that's pretty average for how it runs. Uh, so the other build set I have for you guys uh, is we're going to sub in the yellow move, the backbreaker, uh, instead of the spike pile driver. And I'm going to keep most of the trainers the same. Let's talk about the moves you're not going to see me use. Uh, 8 MP Yellow Samoan Drop. Deal 36k damage and make 4 random gems into black gems. You won't see that one. Uh, you won't see the Stun Gun. Uh, deal 9k damage and make 5 random trap gems into multiply gems of strength 2. Very situational. Or the Spine Buster. Deal 6k damage and make 4 random purple gems into silence gems. So... Uh, not super useful for the moves. You could maybe use the Samoan drop um, instead of the finisher, but it, I don't see that being better. So uh, Entourage is going to stay the same, except we're going to put NWO, sh in, NWO Show in instead of Texina uh, for more black gems on the starting board. You could also use someone like Rikishi for this, for the yellows to get the backbreaker loaded. Um, and that backbreaker move is a 7 MP yellow, deal 10k damage plus 4,685 bonus damage for every multiply gem. Not a huge amount for the multiply gems, but it does add up. Um, and Balor, <clears throat> Demon Balor is going to buff that move more, up to 6,400. So we're basically looking to make yellow or black matches. Um, and other than that, it's fairly similar to the last build set. So let's get out here and see how this one looks. Uh, you just can't put as many multiply gems out, but instead you can use the backbreaker if you get a yellow match. Not a very friendly starting board. That's okay. It is what it is gonna try and keep greens and reds away from Vader so this build set like I said more dependent on matches um, and it's not looking great so far there we go nice little cascade that'll work And hopefully we can get one of these on uh, some blacks and greens, maybe. That's all right. Let's see if he'll leave us that black match. He does. Now we're ready to party. Um, not a lot of blacks on the board, so maybe Vader will help us out there. And hopefully not take those two. He's gonna get one of them. Okay. A little bit longer to get loaded. I like the first build set quite a bit better than this one, uh, but it is viable. Um, so we're going to want to pick ones with black or yellow in them, preferably black. Seven. That'll get us closer to reloading that.
Decent damage, 220k. Invader can't kick out. So there you guys go. That's the movesets I have for you for Rock. Again, Double Fury, Blue Bomber, two words for you on this one. The first one is really the way to go in whatever combination of guys you prefer, um, whether it's Sinkara and Bronze, Sinkara and Seth, Matt and um, Demon Balor like I did, Matt and um, Sinkara, certainly all viable. Um, so there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this preview and enjoy the fact that your blue chipper is now significantly better than he was yesterday, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, I look forward to having a, having a useful new gen striker and uh, I'll probably take him up during this event. Uh, so yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. All that good stuff, it helps me out. Other than that, be watching for my videos, guys, and uh, take care. Thanks.